Okay, welcome to part three of our tic-tac-toe program using a board class. So let's see what we've got so far. Okay, so we've got a board. Um, I'm player X, I can enter a number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. O, oh, two, um, let's see, O oh, goes three, X goes to eight. Okay, so clearly I have one, but the system does not recognize that. So that's what we're gonna work on now. So basically, looking at tic-tac-toe, we have eight ways to win. So across, two, three, down, four, five, six, and diagonal, seven, eight. So we need to check for all of those possibilities. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a board method. And again, so because it, it's a winner, so are they a winner? It's yes or no. So it's basically a true or false question. So I'm gonna say define is winner and I want to know the player so for example X or uh, O so let's think about it our top row is cells 1 cells 2 and cells 3 so let's try that so basically what I want to do is it's just a bunch of if statements there's other easier not easier but there are other more compact more elegant ways to do it this is probably the simplest to understand so if self.cells1, because that's this cell, equals the player, so capital X or capital O, and self.cells2 equals the player, and self.cells3 equals player, oops, colon, so this checks, is this an X, is this an X, is this an X, or is this an O, is this an O, is this an O? If so, return true. So what I need to do to use this, so I need to check for a winner. So I'm gonna update my board, I'm gonna refresh the screen, and down here I'm gonna say, check for an X win. So if board dot, and we used is winner, and we said we're gonna, this is X. Now I could put equals true, that would work, or I could just leave it like this. So I'm gonna say, let's see what, I, what did I print in my test program? Consistent. Okay. I'm gonna say print. I'm gonna leave a space. X wins. Keep it very simple. Another space or blank line, I should say. O wins. And let's try it. Okay. So I'm gonna choose one, three. Oops. Now I can't win. Uh, let's restart that. Because I've only programmed for the top row. So, terminal. Okay, one, seven, two, eight. And this should give me a win. Okay, so we got X wins, because I got X wins across. Um, please choose one night. Now, the program's still going. So, what we need to do is to stop it there. So, X wins. So, what I might say is, play. do you want to play again? Input Would you like to play again? And if play, oops, let's make sure we tell the user capital Y. So now make it easy. We'll put dot upper at the end just in case they enter a lowercase y. If play again equals yes. We need to continue and else break. Okay, so let's try that. And again, I'm just getting X to work first. Um, okay, so one, seven, two, eight, three. Okay, would you like to play again, yes or no? So I hit no, it should exit. We'll assume that, what if I hit Y? 
the game keeps going from where it's at. Okay, so we don't want that. Um, so what we need to do is we need to reset the board. So we need to make a new function up here, a new method, I should say, and call it reset self. And so basically what we just got to do is we'll just reset this. We'll just do the same thing we did when we initialized it. Okay, so let's try that one more time. But you see how you know we're, we're testing one thing at a time. So we get that working, get that working, and then we test it. Okay, so try yes, and hopefully the board will clear. Okay, the board didn't clear. Um, why was that? Uh, what did we do wrong there? Mm. I've already figured this one out, so what did I do the first time? Hmm. Okay, I think what we have to do, I think where I messed up there, hang on a second, is. We need to make it blank first. Uh, sure, let's try it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> I never actually reset it. Board dot reset. Okay. Don't need that. My bad. Sorry about that. And yeah. Coding seven two K. And yeah, the bell's about to ring and I'm kinda of feeling rushed. Uh two eight three K yes. Boards reset. Fantastic. Okay. So to recap, what we've done here is we've checked for a win. Okay. Uh, across the top. And if that's a win, we return true. And now what we would do at this point, and I'll leave that to you to do, uh, is we mentioned there were eight ways to win. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's one, two, three across, four, five, six across, seven, eight, nine across. So we just need to go through here and change it to all the, oops, that should be four, five, six, five, six, and just change it all the way across. So you do all, your three across, three down, and your three diagonals using the correct numbers, and you've got a functioning game. Um, I should put it at the bottom here, return false. So it, it'll only get there if none of these are true. And then we have a reset function. So if we win the game. Now we also need to do the same thing for O, Check for an O win. So again, so once that's why we test it once with X. Once that's working, we do it. We just copy it and change it. Okay, so that is that.